Hey friends, it's Coach Carla here. So I used to love this YouTube channel. There was one time in 2014 that I did a video log every day in May. And I used to come up with some fun content and I realized it's been a really long time. So my purpose for this video is I am going to be doing a bucket list item. I grew up in Oregon, so the Pacific Crest Trail has always been an idea of mine. It was always just this trail out there somewhere and I've always wanted to do it. But my health journey, you know, it's been ups and downs just like climbing a mountain, right? Like the way to climb a mountain is one step at a time. About three, four years ago, um, a few of my friends invited me to go hike Diamond Peak. And hiking Diamond Peak was awesome. Like, I almost quit so many times, but I couldn't. I just I kept going. I just kept going, kept going. And what I learned on that trip is I needed boots and trekking poles, and I really hurt my knees. Put myself in bed for a week afterwards, and I was really concerned that my knees were never going to be able to support the weight of me again. So... Fast forward 30, 60 days later, my knees would still hurt anytime I went downstairs or down a hill. So I've gone along this journey. I also had to have a hysterectomy. So that took a lot longer to heal from than I had imagined anyway. Like being in my early 40s, it's just been my health journey. And one thing after another, right? I like to take an obstacle and just embrace it and see what I can learn through the process of it. But anyway. I digress. Behind me, you see my first hammock. It's a double nest hammock. Um, I'm excited about taking this on the trail with us because it has a lot of extra room. Um, I think that'll be cool because I can have my bag in there with me. I can write and journal and I will have a bug net and a tarp over me if needed. Um, also, so about three, four years ago, I grabbed, I went to REI and I got fitted for the um, Solomons. And I didn't purchase them right away because it was fall and I wasn't really going to be hiking, but I wanted to have them. So these boots are like two, three years old and I haven't used them much. I'm just now starting to break them in. Um, I do have, I normally wore orthotics in my shoes all the time. So the boots were really important to me. Um, I have since then put the inserts that came with the boots back in the boots. And um, I think I might go that route, but still take my orthotics. Um, the idea is to help myself with blisters. I tend to blister really easy and my feet and ankles, my knees, my hips, everything hurts, right? I, let me, let me rephrase this. I am not necessarily prepared for this trip. I'm not physically ready. I'm not an athlete yet. I'm like someone who's just coming out of COVID, spending a lot of time on my butt and wanting to go travel. I have a lot of strength. But when it comes to endurance, I don't normally have the stamina to keep up. So my husband and I have been hiking and walking every other day for the last week in anticipation of our trek coming up. So what I did, um, it's I'm kind of one of those people who put your intention out there and then take the steps necessary and just make it happen. So I picked up this book. Um, actually, I picked up the Oregon Backroads Guide to the Pacific Crest Trail Volume 1. I got that last year. And when I started reading it just a month ago, I realized I had the wrong section. So I had to go order and I got volume two. So we are planning on hiking Highway 58 to Elk Lake Resort, which is about 45 miles. It's not the full section that they offer, but it's our first section that we're going to tackle. Um, I have a few friends coming with me. I'm excited. Um, I will be doing, I'm buying a GoPro and we'll be doing a lot more videos on the trail and then I've hired a friend to put them all together and make an awesome video for you. So I hope you enjoy the journey. Um, we'll have lots of pictures along the way. Um, I thought it would be fun, kind of embarrassing, but I'm just an average girl who has big dreams and who wants to bring others along with the journey. Because I believe we can do anything we choose to if we just take it one step at a time. Mind over matter and just put your feet one foot in front of the other, right? So I, want, I went to REI today. And I got fitted for a backpack. I That was very important to me because I have a bad back and I wanted to make sure that um, it fit me correctly. And it turns out that I actually needed an extra small frame because my torso from, I guess they measure from the C7 vertebra to your hip. And um, I was 17 inches 
and they thought it would be a small, but when I put on the Gregory pack small, um, it was actually too big. There was still space between my shoulders. So we ordered an extra small and it will be in in one week. So I'm ordering, I opened up my bag that I've been ordering from Amazon. Everyone loves Amazon during COVID, right? So these are some socks that have been recommended to me by different friends who are hikers. Also, I'm bringing people on the trail with me who know what they're doing, so that's always a bonus. So I got myself some, I love teal. So everything you see of me, I'll be in teal probably. So these are Woolwright socks. They're called No Blisters Guaranteed. That's a pretty bold statement. I don't know, we'll have to give that a try. And I got some Belega socks. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, like I said, these are all socks that were recommended to me by other people. And then we have this package. I don't really know, like, this is my first experience with YouTube. Like, I'm going to have brands, so I'm not really sure the <laughs> what I need to do for showcasing different brands of things I'm using. But this is what I can't wait to show you. It's a little embarrassing, but I thought, an average girl, right? Why not? So these are toe cushion tubes. So they're little toe socks you put around your toes so you don't get blisters. Can't wait to try those out. That'll be pretty easy. But this is, guess what? Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, is it so much? This is something I've never done before. I assumed it was time. It is called the Sunani. Sunani? Oh. It is a few cup. Yay! Oh, sorry. So it's a female urination device. So my friends are laughing at me and telling me that I need to practice in the shower. So I will be <laughs> practicing. I want to stand up and pee because um, I think it would be really hard to stand back up um, in the woods when you're hiking for four or five days. So uh, that's my exciting news for the day. Thanks for coming along with the journey. Um, I'll be posting updates as I get them. And let me know in the comments if there's anything you wanna know, any questions you might have, and what you would like to see on the trail because I am going to be hiking the trail with friends starting August 26th. So if there is something you want to see along the trail, I can look for and take a picture of it for you or video it. I would love to do that for you. So subscribe and follow me and I'd like to see you on the trail. All right? Bye.